this recording going on. How y'all feeling today? Go ahead and drop what y'all are grateful for in the chat bar. I want to know what you guys are grateful for. You already know the vibes. You got to start this call off with high vibrational energy. Go ahead and drop in the chat bar what you are grateful for. Welcome to the Monday Trading Basics. I'm so happy and grateful right now to be on this call tonight, giving you guys the saucy sauce. So as we wait for the rest of our community members to get on, go ahead and drop what you are grateful for in the chat bar. Are you guys grateful for anything today? Are you happy about getting up? I started off, just in case you guys are having a little trouble on knowing what you're grateful for. I'm grateful for waking up, you guys. I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful for this information that we have. I'm grateful to be able to, you know, travel around the world and work and live where I want to. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my health. What are you grateful for, you guys? Let's go, let's rock and roll. We're gonna start this call off in about three minutes. Drop what you're grateful for, let's go. I can't be on the call with no ungrateful people, so tell me what you're grateful for. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I see I got about three people on the call grateful. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's start this call off with some vibes, y'all. I'm going to be dropping the sauce today. I'm going to need the vibe, y'all. Right? Just drop it in the chats that we're lit and live. Let everybody know. Drop in the chats, OTC. Let everybody know in the chats. Drop OTC. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we are on the call, locked and loaded, ready to go, pins and pads in hand. All right, all right, all right. If you guys are just tuning in, go ahead and drop what you're grateful for in the chat bar. I want to know what you guys are grateful for today. What are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? Let's go ahead and drop it in the chat bar while we wait. You guys, we're going to start this call in about two more minutes. It's a celebration, baby. I'm going to move these lines out. All right, grateful for love. I'm grateful for this opportunity. There, we got some grateful people on here. I started to get wary. Who else? Who else? What are you grateful for? We're going to start this call off in two minutes. Let's go. It's 8 o'clock on the dot. 7 Central. Let's get it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go ahead and drop what you're grateful for in the chat bar. Let's get it. I want to know what you guys are grateful for. Let's go, let's go. We literally going to start this call off in one minute and 30 seconds, y'all. One minute and 30 seconds. Let's get it. We got more people coming in. We're gonna drop one more tune. Let's go, let's go. We got life in this training, okay? Life and family. Okay, cool. We got some grateful people on here. That's what I'm talking about. We started this call in 60 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can get 30 people on here in the next 60 seconds. It's 24 people. Let's see if we can get 30 people on here. Drop it in your chats. Let the people know that you brought in this business. Let them know we're on. We're live. We're locked. We're loaded. And we winning, baby. We got about, about 30 seconds. And we got 25 people in here. We need five more people. Let them know in the chat. We need five more people on this call for it to start. Let's go. It's too many people in this organization. Not on this call. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right. We literally start in 15 seconds. We at 27. Can we reach our goal? Can we reach our goal in the next 15 seconds? We need three more people. Let's go, let's go. Five seconds. We rocking and we rolling. Hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to turn this down. 
What's going on, everybody? What up, Vibe communities? You already know the vibe. It's tonight, Training Basics. I'm so happy and grateful to be here today. We met our goal. We had 30 people. We in there like swimwear. You guys, make sure you know that every Monday at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central, this call is going down. And so what that means is you want to make this call a priority. You want to make it something like high on your list that you tap in because you always want to be going over the basics, right? You always want to go over the basics. Going over the basics is what's going to make you get better and better at this, right? Because, you know, this is a skill set. And within this skill set, it's going to take some consistent time to really pick up on it. But once you pick up on it, it's the most sexiest thing you ever can learn, right? To be able to flip money. I mean, that's the most beautiful thing ever, right? So my name is Isis. Love you guys. I'm one of the platinum leaders here in this community. And as I mentioned before, you guys, I'm excited to be here. I've been in the training, uh, trading scene since about 2017. Literally used to be homeless, living in my truck, living in the garden shed. Now, you know, traveling full time. And it's just it's something I love to do, you guys. So tonight, the purpose of this call <clears throat> is really to hear from you guys. We have a lot of new people. Um, and before I go any over anything, I really want to hear from you guys. I want to hear, you know, what your questions are, what you're unclear about. Because, see, once you're clear, that's going to lead to clarity, right? And when it when you got that clarity, you know, that's when that power going to come in. When that power come, come in, you're going to make better confident choices when it comes to trading, right? Before we jump into it, though, I do want to set some expectations when it comes to trading in these signals, right? So, you know, the expectation with this is learn how to master these, how to take signals first. Some of you guys are still trying to, like, figure out how to take, when to, how to take buys, when to take buys, when to mark up the charts. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you still don't know how to take signals, if you're still unclear to what a buy limit is, what a sell limit is, you know what I'm saying, what a sell stop is, what a buy stop is, then you want to make sure you master that before you even move on, right? Because truth be told, remember, this is a skill set. You could be missing out on money because you're not copying and pasting. Look, these next 90 days, if you set, a trading plan, which we'll talk about later. If you set a trading plan and you trade one time a day, just one time a day by taking the signals until you learn how to trade, you guys, you can start paying some bills. You can start paying off some debt. I, I always do these challenges with my community where I'm like, hey, look, let's think about three debts or bills or credit cards or something that we want to eliminate. And we write those three down and we write them in which order we want to knock it out, right? And then that's when we use the signals and we fund our account. We take one trade a day. We build up our account to knock out that bill, you guys. So I want to just take this at least the next 20 so minutes um, to really just answer you guys' questions. And I don't want you to be afraid to, to ask your question. Um, you know what they said, close mouth, don't get fed. So I want to make sure I'm here to be able to answer your questions the best of my ability. So I'm going to go ahead and mute the phone and give the floor to you. All right, don't everybody talk at once. Now, I know out of 46 people. I got a question. Isis. All right, what's up, what's up? <laughs> All right, so I had placed a few demo trades last week, and they still haven't done anything yet. Is there a particular reason for that? Okay, when did you place them? When did, when did, you, when did they call them? When did you place them? I think Friday. Okay. Are they still moving, or are they not moving at all? Yes, they're moving, but... Um, Actually, no, it's, it, the numbers are just white and they are changing, but it hasn't like actually looked, you know how when it starts to trade, it turns blue or red. It hasn't done that yeah. yet. So you're in a limit order. You must be in a pending order. Are you in a buy limit? Oh, 
selling it or something like that? Yeah. Okay, so what that means is that it just didn't activate yet. Okay. And, and if you yeah, and if you didn't get a message to uh delete or cancel trade, then you can still stay in it if you want to. But you said Friday, so the market's just warming up. The market's a little bit slow on Monday. It really makes you know it moves Tuesday and Wednesday, so it could activate throughout um, within the week. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Thanks for asking that question. Probably helps somebody else. Anybody else? Let's go, let's go. This is your time. I have a question. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Hey, my name is Christy Lachey. Um, my question is, what times do the market actually open? Because I'm getting confusion of the times. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, first off, welcome to the call. How long you been in with us? Thank you. About a month or so. Okay, cool, cool. So are you a note taker? Yes. Okay, so are you the type of person that take notes and then go back and look at them? Yes. All right, so this is what I want you to do. And I want you to actually come back and tell me the answer, right? So if you if you go, did you finish all of the Forex basics? I am, um, I've done the getting started and I'm in the market pro. So yes, I have. Okay, cool. Well, there is a video on there that talks about the market times. I'll talk about them a little bit, but I want you to go back and, um, you know, check it out. One thing that I did, certain things I made flashcards for. So once you find an answer about, you know, the times, you can put that on a flashcard. When you get your lunch break, when you're before you go to bed night night, when you wake up, you know, you could just, you know, kind of just go over it so it can program in your mind. But, you know, you got the New York session, you got the London session, the Tokyo session. So, you know, it, it, the trading is, is happening 24, 24 hours a day. So it depends on what type of trader you are. Are you more so a person that gets up early and, you know, you like to get your bag like that? Or are you a person that you a night owl, you want to get your bag like that? But truth be told, most people that get up early, that's when the signals is really coming out, right? The signals are really coming out early throughout the day. And then you can you can you can find that out by just going into the signal groups and just looking at the times that they're calling out the signals the most. But um, you know, those are a couple of the uh <clears throat> like I said, the trading sessions. But I would definitely, you know, get back in there with the times. But it can it get like I said, it's 24 hours. It can range from like eight in the morning, you know, all the way up to 12. So yeah, this is not the zoom that I was supposed to be. No, now you have five parents. He finally made a home run. So you're, you're on the right room. You're on the right room. That's anybody sure. <laughs> she says she's not supposed to be on here. All right, cool. So did that answer your question? Okay, yes, because like I'm I'm on Central Standard Time, but I know it goes a lot by Eastern Standard. So I'm an early bird. Oops. Uh, hold on real quick. I muted you. I couldn't hear you. My bad. Okay. You said you was an early bird? Yes. And I've seen some come in like 2.30, then maybe like 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. So I was trying to get just the accurate time. I know it's 24 hours, but I was trying to get accurate so I can set my wake up time to that schedule. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if you get up early, it's it's not like a set time. Like every time at five o'clock, it's going to send out the signals. But when, once you learn how to do this yourself, you will kind of know when you like to sit down and set up your trades. But for right now, while you're still learning and taking advantage of these um signals, like I said, I would definitely just pay attention to the times. Like if you go in here. You notice, okay, nine around nine o'clock, around eight o'clock, one o'clock, like you said, twelve o'clock, and just kind of look at the times, cause <clears throat> most of them look like it's starting anywhere from one in the morning all the way up, even as you know what I'm saying. So that's from between one in the morning to probably about ten or eleven, like um, anywhere between there, they can you know call this call this out. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I thought I was sharing my screen, but I wasn't. All right, that was a great question. Who, we, who else we have? We got somebody else out there. I have a question. Okay, who we speaking with? Who we speaking with? 
Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, um, it's kind of off of Christy's question somewhat. Um, I went through the training and I remember it said it was five and a half days a week for Forex. But I also got something in the um, vibe chat and it was saying something about Forex, something about closure trades by five and crypto 24-7, seven days a week. But Forex is different. So I'm confused about that because I'm actually in Japan. So I'm 13 hours ahead. So I'm just trying to remember, you know, like it's um you started the training at eight. But right now it's eight. It's 9.13 in the morning here. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure, like, is that correct? Like, do the trades come in for Forex on the weekends? No, the Forex market is open. And then if anybody doesn't know this, please write this down and make it into a flashcard so that you can just rememorize, you can memorize, you know, what's going on. So the Forex market is open Monday to Friday. Friday, it closes at 5 p.m. Eastern. So wherever you live in the world, you'll have to figure out what time's equivalent to your time. So it's closed on five at five on Friday. It's closed on Saturday. Then on Sunday, it opened back up again at 5 p.m. Eastern. Now the crypto market is open 24-7. So it's just always open. It's just like stays open 24-7. You can trade it 24-7. Forex trades on the days that I mentioned. And also it, the market can close on holidays as well. So definitely make sure you guys write that down. You know, if you got to put it on the bathroom sink, like really just, you know, repetition. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Amazing, 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 amazing. Who else we got? Who else we got? Don't be scared. I'm, I'm back. I have another question. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, I'm still on my demo because I really just haven't been, you know, having a lot of time to put in stuff in my demo because of the different the time frames. So I'm trying to work my way around it. But um I'm kind of trying to learn in my demo, like, you know, when you get take profit one, two, three, and four. I'm trying to learn how to move my stop loss to my entry price. Like I know that's what I have to do, but doing it is like hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's talk about that. Um, so what you would do is you can do two things. <clears throat> you can look at your chart on your MetaTrader 4 uh, app. I use TradingView, even though like when you use TradingView, it might be slightly off of a couple of uh, pips, meaning like um, meaning like, uh, let me show you for example, meaning like, um, so on this trading view, I'm looking at this currency pair, but I'm looking at this currency pair using the Oanda broker. But when I look at the, uh, chart on my cell phone, I'm looking at the chart mirroring my broker. So nothing wrong with that. It's just that the, the, the points might be slightly off, like, on here, it may say that the market's at 161.010. And on the cell phone, it may say 08. So it might just be slightly over. So anyway, let's talk about it. So, um, okay. Yeah, this was, did not hit. Okay, it did hit the cell limit. So let's talk about this, for example, okay? So let's act like, this green line was take profit one. This green line was take profit two. Okay. Wait, no, I want to use that one. Hold on. Rewind. Oh, this is a great idea. I knew this was going to do this. Okay, cool. So this is a perfect idea. So this is take profit one. This is take profit two. This is where we entered it on this black line. The red lines are stop loss. So when you want to move your stop loss into profit, what you would need to do is you're actually, you would need to watch this. So this is not nothing where you kind of like going to the grocery store and all of that. Like you kind of got to be, you know, you got to be present. So, um, and it's all up to how you want to do it. You know, I, 
So let's just say you're like, hey, look, you don't put your stop loss, quote unquote, in your cell phone, but you know that, you know, this is your quote unquote stop loss, right? So then the market starts going, it starts going, it starts going. So from this black line to take profit one, what I can do is, what I can do is my take profit one wouldn't even be in my cell phone because if I put it in my cell phone, it would just knock me out of my, automatically. But what I would do is I'm like, okay, cool. It already passed my take profit one, but I believe it can go to quote unquote take profit two. So what I'm going to do is when the market is, let's just say two pips over my take profit, that's when I'm going to move my stop loss. So it's up to you. So let's just act like, you know, I move my stop loss right here, right? So now if the market was to come tumbling down, at least I would get take profit one's profit and at least uh, two more pips added on with it, right? So all I'm doing is, I'm moving my stop loss um, a little bit in profit, or you can put it in break even. Once the market starts to move, you know, uh, two pips in profit, you may say, hey, look, now I'm going to put the um, the stop loss at a uh, break even, meaning if it hits it, you're just going to kind of break even. So it really is up to how you want to do it. Does that make sense? Yes, I get that. Now the, the break even part, you, you put it on the black. So when you break even, you always want to put it on the entry price. Yeah, where you yeah, that's why it says move SL to entry. Okay. Okay, yeah, I get it. Thanks. Yep. Amazing. Great, great question. Does anybody else have any other questions? I know in that, in that situation, I would just um when you always just do a couple more pips than your entry because each trade um costs a few pips i mean cost you know it's spread for the spread like it'd be i mean like that's what i would do i mean i would do that but it, it's i mean it's kind of based some people like to put it at break even it's all up to you you might be like look i want to put it at break even because i want to give the trade some time to move because you know the trade gotta breathe and so sometimes you could put your stop loss into profit like maybe you know 10 15 pence in profit and then you don't give it enough room to breathe and then it come down yes it knocks you out in profit but then guess what it goes in your favor so you have to ask yourself are you okay with you know it knocks you out you in profit you good you like hey look i made some profit i'm good i'm fine or is that gonna piss you off where you're gonna be like you know what i need to get back in there again so you just gotta kind of ask yourself i know one of my traders said, you know, it pisses her off, the, the, <laughs> the stop profit. It pisses her off because she would rather it hit her stop loss because she's already factored in how much she's willing to lose anyway than to, you know, hit her stop profit. So did that make sense? Yeah. No, because I, I just hear a lot of people say break even or put it at entry point, but if it come back and hit there, you you – not really breaking even you still taking a small loss of however much it costs to put you in the trade yeah you would need to adjust it a little bit based off of the broker you know what i mean um i i personally i don't i don't like to put it at break even yeah all right anybody else yes hi i have a question Hey. Hi. So this chat seems a little um, advanced for me and I'm in the beginner, right? So I want to know about um, downloading the meta trade and getting the host. Now, I don't know if we're going to talk about this now or at the end, because I don't want to interrupt anybody, but I do would like to know. Okay. So let me just backtrack what you just said. So yeah, this is actually, this is just basics. Um, but you said that you want to download MetaTrader 4? Yeah, because I'm fairly new to it. And so I know it's three things that I have to do was download MetaTrader, get Hughes Way or something as my broker. Okay. Yeah. I'm like all the way new. Okay, when did you get started? Um, a month ago, but I have never done anything. So I'm on today, ready? I love it. Okay, okay, cool. So go ahead and write this down. So yeah, whenever we get off of here, you go into your app store and you're going to download Meta, MetaTrader 4. Um, 
And then um, I'll drop, I got to remind myself, somebody can remind me. I'll drop a video to pin to the top on how to create your demo account within your MetaTrader 4 account because you want to create a free demo. Okay. And then uh, how to place a trade. So, yeah, you want to download that. And then you do want to get your broker's account set up. It's totally free. Um, if you're not ready to fund it with real live money yet, it's okay. At least you just go ahead and get it uh, started. And then what I would do is um, I would master really how to take signals in the group. Once you see this video on how to place a trade, um, make sure you take very, very good notes. It's very simple, though. And just every day, just make sure you just like, bam, this is how you place the trade. And just practice placing the trade. And then from there, you know, just check out some of the basic videos. So it's kind of like that's your assignment every day. Placing the trades, finishing the academy. Placing the trades, finishing the academy. Once you finish with the academy, you still placing the trades. And then you go on over your notes. And then you tap it into like Market Pro. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a system. But every day you should be making money and studying making money and studying. Okay. And when you said master how to signal in the group, this is this group, correct? Yeah. So let me show you. It's a good question. So when you first got started, uh, you should have had went to uh, inside of the school. And then um, I'm trying to think if I can show you. I don't know if I got it up here. But you go inside of the school. And then when you go to like education, You'll see at the top where it's like, you know, you can join. And somebody, if somebody can drop the steps as well, but I'm um, trying to get back to the group. There'll be some steps on how you can join the, uh, the Telegram chat. So, um, hold on, somebody watching. Oh, Damn. <laughs> Y'all <be, laughs> gotta be focused. They've been watching a whole movie. All right, bet. So, uh, so anyways, when you come to alert one, all they want you to do is just to send in your uh, email and your customer ID, which you can find on the dashboard. Then they'll send you all of the groups, signal groups that you should be in. Personally, if you know, I don't know what package you, you got, but I got the elite package. So I know personally, I'm not focused on the SK Academy right now. So I'm not in those chats. Um, I'm not focusing on binary right now, so I'm not in that chat either. So, you know, make sure you, you pick like most of the Forex, Forex chats and then, yeah, it's going to come inside of these, uh, groups like this. Okay. Yeah. Um, another young lady I just saw, and I'm, I want to know too, is, um, how do we open the broker's account? So I know it's, they said something about Hughes way. So once I'm connected with Hughes way, um, does that automatically um, go back to my MetaTrader account? Well, like, are I mean, you're, fine? you're doing a couple of things. You're opening up your free demos account using a Hugo's Way broker because Hugo's Way allows you to place uh, trades with different currencies. If you just open up a demo account with the generic broker that they're giving you on the MetaTrader 4 app, you're not going to be able to access some of the currency pairs. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is, once you open up your free account, you're going to log on to the web browser. You're going to open up the free account. You're going to fund it with Bitcoin. The Bitcoin is going to go into the Hugo's Way account. And then from there, you had already created your live account, and we just connect them. So we're going to take the money off of there, and it's going to automatically go to the MetaTrader 4 account because we're going to do like an internal transfer. Okay, and is there a training on that, like a quick video on how to do that? I mean, to be honest, I just, because we can't really recommend brokers. It's not something like we're supposed to really do. Well, know? I'm using Hugo's way. Yeah, so. so what I would do, I would just go to YouTube and type yep. in how to transfer money off my Hugo's way to my MetaTrader 4, and there'll be yep. tons of videos. Yeah, that's what I did when I first got started. Okay. Amazing. Great question. Okay. Thank you. I think I'm set. Uh, hi, hi Axis. Uh, this is Nancy. How are you? What's up, Miss Nancy from Canada? Hey, hello. Hello. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm dropping what you had sent to me in terms of uh, 
opening up uh, the broker's account, uh, uh, MetaTrader 4, and how to place a trade. I don't know if everybody's getting it or if it's the right way that I'm doing it, but uh, let me know, okay? What'd you drop it at? What'd you drop it at? I'm, drop, I'm dropping um, how to place a trade. You had sent it to me on oh. my IG. So I'm, I'm just dropping it in the chat. Thank you. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, cool. So Nancy, which chat are you going to drop it in here? Yes, in here. Okay, cool. So you guys make sure you check the chat. Nancy's going to get us together. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. All right, fam. Anybody got anything else? I feel like somebody else does. Yeah, I got a uh, okay. question, Isis. Sure. Um, how you doing, John? How you doing? Uh, um, so you know how you um count your pips. So I see you have it on a Wanda, but on your phone, like if you're on your phone. Um, I know the forex pairs and the um, I guess the gold and the indices. They have a different like your number, but you, I think it was a don't count the last number, you know, because I want to count my pips as far as like uh, when I'm in a profit, like either 30 or 50. But how do I know what is 30? How many, you know, on your phone? How, how can you tell how many pips you're up? Like, I mean, like, what, how, how do you count it? Like, how do you show it? I think you use the uh, arrow or something like that. And you go up and it shows how many. You know, that's a good question. I never use the arrow, but there is a arrow. If anybody on here can direct them on where that arrow is, please, by all means, come off mute. Let them know. But I kind of just count. Anybody, somebody say something? Okay, you just count. I can, I either calculate it or I kind of roughly es estimate it here. So, like, let's see. I'm on US 30 right here on TradingView. And I use TradingView okay. on, my, on my cell phone. So, okay. if you look at, let's look at the entry point real quick. So, on... On here, the entry point is 48880. On my phone is 4867. So that's okay. a way, that's a big difference. It's okay. a big difference on where the market is. So like, even though I use TradingView, it's still not 100% like accurate because it's way off. Like I said, on my phone is the last four, last three is 867, but the market right here is at 880. Mm-hmm. So that means really 867. That means really the market is somewhere, according to my MetaTrader 4, like right here below, below that red line. So it's a little off. So I just kind of count it. And if I'm using like a, a, a 4X pair, I may chart it up on my trading view because um with the 4X pairs, they're not so much off. The spreads are not so much off. But with that US 30, it definitely be off by quite some. So um, that's what I do. I may mark it up here and still just add it up in my head. Okay. Okay. So, um, how do you know how much is 30, uh, 34, 88, like how, what would it be 30, 34, 90 or. So what you'll do is that we're starting from, uh, let's just say the last three, eight, seven, one, right. And we want to go up 30 pips, 30 pips is like right here. So 30 pips is uh, 904. So it went from 871 to 904. So it went up, quote unquote, 307 points, right? Which is really 30. Because when you're trading US 30 and in indices, you're not really trading in pips, you're trading in points. But anyway, you'll, you'll take that seven off and that's 30. This will be, you know, 46 pips or points, you know? So six. It doesn't show you that on the phone. I, I think it says 68, 64. Okay. Yeah, I don't do it on my phone. That that you might have to ask somebody else um how to get to the arrow. I don't I don't use it on my phone like that. It's uh ISIS. This is Zenja. It's yeah. under objects. It's under objects on your phone. And all you have to do is almost like you would add a horizontal line. Wherever you start okay. the arrow is where the pips are gonna start counting and you can move it up to an area on your chart. It's okay. really simple. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, I, I, I know how to do it. I just don't, I just want to know how to count it. God, does it show like how many, the actual number? Yes, if you look up uh, at the top of the screen when you're moving the arrow. Can we see, can we see your screen, Zendra? Am I yeah. able to? Let me, okay. let me jump on on my phone. Okay, so you're not on yet, okay. No, I'm on my, my laptop on here, but I'll jump on on my phone so I can actually show it. 
Okay, cool. And then raise your hand. So then we all can see a visual of, um, you know, how that's done. So while we're, let me see if I can see her in here. Uh, okay, so while we're waiting for Zendra to get set up really quick, we're going to come right back to that. Does anybody got, oh, here she goes. Never mind. Okay, cool. So, okay, Zendra, let me make you the co-host. I'm going to stop sharing. All right, it's yours. Okay, here. Zendra, are you talking or are you just demonstrating? Girl, I was talking. All right, so I'm gonna go back. I hit the arrow under objects and objects is this area right here at the top. Uh, right next to the F, that's what I hit, where it says those shapes, object. Then it's gonna have a list of, of objects here. You're gonna hit the object you wanna add, add it. You guys see the arrow up at the top of the corner there? So I'm gonna go ahead and start my arrow at my horizontal line, this pink horizontal line. Now, as I move the arrow up, so do we see the numbers at the top? Hold up. Okay, wait a minute. I'm not moving that. Let's move that here and I'll start the arrow. Now, do we see the numbers at the top? next to XAU where it says arrowed lines. We see those right. numbers moving? Mm -hmm. Okay, so right here, we got 50 pips. You keep moving, we're up to 104 pips. Got it. You move this all the way up here to see where we are in the market. We're at 704 pips. Do we see that? And in order to see it, you just gotta make sure you, you hit the arrow that the dotted lines are there, and then however far you are from where you start the arrow is your pip count. Do we see that? Yes. So with, with a, like like another pair, like a gold or NS, he's going to have four numbers. So if I'm not mistaken, you don't count that last number, right? You don't... No, this is going to give you the pips no matter where you are on, on whatever pair you are, because we're I'm on gold. So that's, oh, okay. if we move from here to here, that's a 59 pip move. Okay, perfect. So no matter what pair, it, it, it'll tell you how many pips. It's telling you the pips on that pair. It's a cheat code. Right. So basically, you don't got to drop no last digits or anything because it's calculating it for that currency. It's calculating it for whatever that pair is. That's how much, that's where you're going. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Mm, that's cool. Right? Yeah. That was, that was yeah. a cheat code. Can we drop some fire signs? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for that gym right there, yo. That's why you gotta show up on Mondays. It is that is that is so much clarity for you guys, right? That was clarity for me. I've been training for a while. I see people do it, but I never I never used it before. So I'm definitely gonna start using that. So that was amazing. See, these questions are good. These questions help other people learn as well. So definitely let's take a few more questions before we wrap it up with trading plan and risk management, but let's take a little bit more questions. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, peace. Yeah, I'm new, I'm just one week in. Basically, I'm just like going through the market pro. I'm finished, I finished that class on the iGenius. I'm on money pro now. So basically, I'm just going through the videos, taking notes. I haven't started doing anything on the demo trade because I'm new to this, so I'm learning. Okay. So my question is, um, for the demo, is it like 
I start with a hundred dollar. Is it that I can just go ahead and start practice trading on it? Yeah. So when you go through the, so you went through the market pro, you're going through the money pro, but yeah. well, I think it's, I don't know if it's in the market pro or if it's in the Forex Academy, but there is a video that's going to show you how to place a trade. So when you open up your demo account on MetaTrader 4 with Hugo's way, you just literally like hit the little settings button, you know, open, it's going to say like create account or uh, log into existing. You're going to go create account, Hugo's way. There's going to be different set amounts of money you can trade with. I would trade with the lowest amount, which is about $3,000 because it makes it a little bit more realistic. So um, yeah, I would put it at $3,000. And so basically what's happening is you are trading in the real life market However, you know, it's with demo money. Okay, I got it. Yeah, so you want to you wanna go over that how to place a trade video a couple of times so that you really can understand, um, you know, how to take And We may do one towards the end. We may place a trade just to show you but definitely you want to go over that video because you know at first it may seem like a little overwhelming so it's a lot but really once you get it down you're gonna be like oh man this is simple you could you could place a trade with your eyes closed so no nah, don't do that but yeah <laughs> all right thanks for your help all right amazing anybody else yes yes Thank you. Thank you. This training is for y'all. All right. Any other questions, you guys, before we shift gears? All right. I feel it in my bones. But we're going to go ahead and proceed. If you think of anything else, then you can always ask again. So, um, you know, this this 90 days right here up until June, you guys, we're really focusing in on trading. And so that's why, you know, knowing the found, having your foundation together is so important so that you can capitalize and start making money. Because we, uh, uh, we when I say we, you know, the leadership, you know, within this um, community um, has came up with an awesome schedule to be able to help individuals you know, learn about, you know, copying and pasting the signals, you know, trading basics. We're going to be, you know, trading, uh, trading live with each other. So you want to make sure that you, A, stay active. And you want to make sure that you're staying engaged into the group. You know, if, it's, if it feels overwhelming, it's because you're probably not organized. So make sure you use your calendar. If you feel lost, it's probably because you're not tapped in. So make sure, you know, that you use your notepad, you know, on your cell phone and you save this link, right? So let's talk about taking advantage of these signals in a trading plan. A lot of people are still kind of confused on a trading plan and what it is. But to be honest, y'all, it's really, really simple, right? It's just a plan. And the reason why sometimes it seems a little bit hard for people to put a trading plan together is because a lot of people don't even have a plan in general, right? You need a plan in life, period, no matter what you do, right? So a trading plan gives you direction so you know what to do every day so you're not just in the market all willy-nilly, over-leveraging, and just doing all kind of crazy stuff. I mean, you still could do it with a trading plan, but we want to create this, this trading plan to give you guys some guidance, right? So this is how I look at a trading plan. And I ask myself a couple of things. ISIS, the market is open seven days a week. How many days a week do you want to trade? How many days a week do you guys want to, you know, take these signals? Or if you're at the position now where you are marking up the charts yourself and you're doing a catch up with mustard strategy or whatever you're doing, ask yourself still, like, how many times a week do you want to sit down and mark up the charts and analyze the charts and, and take trades, right? For me personally, my goal is four to five times a week, right? Four to five times a week. If I'm doing something and I don't get the trade, I don't, I don't put pressure on it, you know, four to five times, right? And sometimes it's only three times I may be able to trade, right? 
So ask yourself, how many times out of the seven days do you want to trade? Now, I mentioned to you guys that getting up, getting up early anyway is a, a very successful tip anyway. In general, you want to get up early. Now, I know some of you guys are like, oh, Isis, I got to go to work. I get up early already. Well, guess what? You may have to make just some sacrifices, you know, to be able to get up a little bit early, you know, to start taking these trades, right? Because it's the little bit of sacrifice that you're doing now that's going to pay off later, right? If I didn't make the sacrifices in 2017, when I first got started, I damn sure wouldn't be here where I am right now. Like, I thank God for that person that slid in my inbox and told me about Forex trading. Like, every day, that's on my gratitude list, right? So the next thing that you want to ask yourself is, how much money do you want to get started with? I want to set the expectations for y'all because you guys don't even know how much money you can make with this. So sometimes you don't know what to say or sometimes you overachieve with a little bit of money in your account, right? So if you got 50 to to $100 in your account, you're not about to make $1,000 a day. You're not about to make a couple of hundred. Now, I'm not saying that you can't, don't get me wrong, but if you're new and you don't really you know, have a style or a technique or you're still understanding the market, it's going to be a little difficult to be able to take a $50 account to a couple hundred dollars. Can it be done? Yes. Can people do it all day long? They grow very small accounts. It'll take patience. You could do it. You definitely could do it. Not to say that you can't, but it's definitely going to take some patience because if you have $100 in your account, you're using a 0.01 lot size, which is a 10 cent lot size. Right. So let's do some simple math. You got $100 in your account. You're doing $10 a lot. I mean, 10 cent a lot. The market's take profit was only 50 pips. So when we do 10 cent times 50 pips, that's only $5. Now, can the market move up more than 50 pips? Yeah, it can. If we're in that type of trend, it all depends on how long you want to stay in that trade. But I'm saying all this to say that you can expect, you know, to make about three to five dollars with a hundred dollar account within risk management. You want to risk one to three percent of your account. That's very conservative. Now, if you're a little a little bit more wild, maybe you may go for, you know, three to five. But I like to have low risk and go for, you know, more of the profit. So how many days a week do you want to trade? How much do you want to start with, right? And then what is going to be your lot size for your desired account size? You don't want to trade all day. Some people, they take multiple trades, but here's the thing. You take three trades, two of them hit your stop loss, and one of them hit your, your take profit. It's like, you just unnecessarily lost two times because you're in all of the trades versus just taking one trade, right? So what is going to be your lot size? This is what you guys have to study. Some of you guys are so ready to go live, but you still don't understand risk management. And it's very, very important, right? So um, before you go live, you want to really make sure you notice because what I noticed with some of these signals is they give out signals for pairs that are a little bit more volatile. Like it may be gold. Gold may need a 50 pip stop loss, but the take profit may only be 20 pips. So you got to know in your mind what that means. So if you got a hundred dollar account and you don't know what you're doing and you put in a, for example, let's just say you did a 0, uh, 0. 0.10. How many, what is a 0. 0.10? Only somebody is new. No veterans, please don't comment, right? But if you're new, what is a 0 0.10 lot size? Really quick. Real quick, real quick, quick math. Who knows what that is? Okay, we got some we got some answers in there. What y'all say? Is it a dollar, 10 cent? What, what it is? $10? How much it is? We got one person out of 47. Let's go. I know we got some more new people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Only one person. Don't be afraid. You want to fail fast. A dollar two cents, I think. A dollar how many? A dollar and two cents something. Zero 
point one zero. Is it's a oh, dollar. Not zero point zero zero one. Okay. Mm -mm. This, yeah, this zero point one zero. So if you guys didn't know that, write that down. This is the type of stuff you got right down. There you go. Yep. Break it down, David. All right. It's a dollar. So ask yourself if a trade is if you got a hundred dollars in your trade in your trade account and you don't know what you're doing, you put a 0, 0.10 lot on there, right? And they call in a 50, let's just say they call in a 50 pip stop loss. And you go on a dollar and you only got a hundred. That means if you, if they hit your stop loss, you're going to be negative $50 at a hundred dollar account. That's crazy. You wouldn't want to do that. That's too much. So, you know, you got to know what lot size you're going to do, right? So, you know, even if you were to do a 10 cent lot and you had a hundred dollar account, you got to ask yourself, am I okay with risking $5? Oh, snap, something like something flew in my eye, y'all. <laughs> but am I okay with risking $5 to make 20 or to make 30, right? So um, I just want you guys to always remember lot size times pips. Whatever lot size you're coming in with, you're gonna always times that uh, by the pips. That's how much you're gonna. That's how you're gonna know how much you're gonna lose, and that's how you're gonna know how much you're gonna win. So, let's see. They haven't did it in a minute. Normally, they put like the. Uh, so wait. So wait. How how do you know where? Like so wait. All right. First of all, how do you know when to put the lot size, or where do you put the lot size at? Like in MetaTrader Four. Yeah, you put it on your MetaTrader 4. Um, I'm about to log in, but definitely make sure y'all go back and watch that How to Place Your Trade video like 13 times if you got to, right? Hold on, somebody trying to call me. Okay, reclaim. Okay, got it. No audio. All right, share screen. All right, check this out. So um this is where you're gonna put the uh the the lot size. You see up there where it says zero point zero one? Uh we're on the left. I mean zero point zero one. You see where it says zero point zero two? Okay, yeah, I got you. Okay. Point four. So that's how you change the lot size. So whenever you go into your train, and one thing you got to always remember is if you pick this lot size, it's going to stay. So if you go into another trade, you may not want it to be that big of a lot size. You just got to remember that you may have to change it, but that's where you change the lot size. Okay, thank you. All right, did you have another question? All right, cool. So um, now that we, uh, excuse me, now that we um, have- Excuse me, excuse me. You said lot size times pip, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Welcome, hold on, somebody is trying to call me. They messing me up. Oh, um, I have a question. Sure. Um, When you set up an account, uh, the leverage, uh, uh, what's the difference between one is to one and one is to 500? Say it again. Uh, when you set up the leverage on a new account, what's the difference between uh, a leverage of one to one versus a leverage of one to 500? Um, it just basically means that the broker you're leveraging the broker so like if it's one in 500 that means every a dollar is really being counted as 500 dollars. so we had two dollars in your account that's really a thousand dollars in your account so the same thing with one over one in 300 is 300 dollars um if you're matching you 300 dollars at each dollar that you have in there thank you you're welcome. I'm trying to get back on here, you guys. Somebody literally just interrupted. All right. So anybody got any other questions? I'm going to go to placing this trade. 
All right. All right, let me go back. All right, you guys literally have about, about seven more minutes. Yeah, you can. I mean, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. It's really about like what you want to do. Like some people say this, some people say that, some people say this. Like it's just really about like what you want to do. This is the beautiful thing about this is that this is teaching everyone how to be bosses. It's teaching you how to make decisions on your own. It's teaching you how to like choose what you want. Because we are so used to like a job, which is telling us what to do, telling us where to go, telling us where to be. So we forget how to even think or make decisions on our own because we're so used to somebody else telling us what to do, right? So um, this is why I love this is because it's really teaching people how to be interdependent, right? So let's go to place of the trade because I know we got some new people on here. Some just tip profit. This is so sexy. So look at this. So this is at 753, right? They called this trade at nine. See, look, they called this trade at 943. If you would have took this trade at 943, you would have cashed out right now at 753. You would have had your money. So whatever your goal was, whatever lot size you had, you know, times the pips, that's what it would have did. Dang, this was a trade. Dang, I got out that trade. See, I had got out that trade. See, I had got out the trade because it hit my stop. What did it do? It hit my stop. Um, whoo, crazy, flew out. It hit my stop profit and knocked me out in profit. Um, but basically, you know, this, this market dropped all the way down uh, to the first take profit. The, the take profit was right here. I think, um, let me see what take profit to. Oh, y'all can't see. I'm on the, um, hold on. Let me go to my trading view because I forgot. I'm sharing my screen right here. So let's go to it so you can see it. Um, quick question. Sure. Uh, so when they send out these signals, what's the expected lot size that we have to put in? Like, does it range from uh, a specific variable or it could be anything? I mean, let's just keep it simple. You only want to risk uh, one to 3% of your account. So let me ask you something. If you have $500 in your account, um, how much is 3% of that? Even if you had Google that mug, like how much is three percent of that? Um, uh, that'd be around uh, um, one fifty. That don't sound right. That don't sound right. I don't think it's one fifty. I think it's three percent of uh five hundred. I think that might be like 20 or something like that. I think it's really 15. Wrong. It's 15. Yeah, I was going to say it's a little lower than that. So, oh, yeah, you just got to take the zero off, 15. So if you got $500 in your account, you're not going to want to, you know, if you're risking 3% of your account, you're not going to want to lose more than probably $15, right? Or maybe you're like, hey, look, I'm a little bit, more aggressive. I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna risk five percent of my account. I'm okay with, you know, risking twenty five dollars. So you gotta ask yourself, what's the easiest? What's the what's the best lot lot size to get to uh to get to the to the to the goal of fifteen or twenty dollars would be a zero point one zero lot, a dollar lot, right? Because you're you're going for the fifteen to twenty pips and you're losing the fifteen to twenty pips. So $1 times 15 pips in the negative means you're risking the 3% of your account. So always know, you know, risk one to 3% of your account. And then once you have that, that, that number, um, you know, your goal is that you can risk 15 and you want to, you know, either, you know, make 20, 25 or even more. Just know that, I mean, because think about this, let's use another scenario. Let's do... Let's just say you put a 
three dollar no let's just say you put a five dollar lot size you know um on that and the market went um the market went um you know the the market went the stop loss they set the stop loss up for 30 pips you losing $150 from a $500 account, that's that's losing a lot. So you know you wouldn't use that lot size. That's over, you know, 3%. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you so much. Amazing, amazing. So really quick before we take any other questions, I want to just take a look at this trade. So this is the one that they call, I was in here earlier and knocked me out in profit. And so that's what I'm saying. Like that low key made me mad. <laughs> like I'm grateful I made the money. But I'm like, dang, it took me out of profit. Look how it dropped. So what I'm doing right now <clears throat> is I'm about to put in the uh, the number for the entry price, so I can see how far it fell from the entry. So that's where we entry. I mean, that was the entry right there, and then I can take my measuring stick. So this bad boy went down. It went down about 42 pips. If you would have, so it went, let me, let me, let me see how, let me see who paying attention. If I came in with a 0 0.10 lot size, this is not for my veterans. If I came in with a 0 0.10 lot size and my take profit was 42 pips, how much money would I have? $42. $42. $42. All day long. Right, forty-two. So that's forty-two dollars you could have walked away with. Now, depending on your account size, depending on how much is in your account, let's just say your account could could do three dollars. Well, three dollars times the forty-two, that's one hundred and twenty-six dollars. It's your house. You just would have cashed out. You would have woke up, put the trade in your cell phone, and by tonight you would have cashed out. $126. Most people don't even make $126 a day job. This is why you got to master the simple basics on how to like let like do the do the risk management, taking these trades, because the job you with, you could be done with that job. This is what you've been waiting on. But I need you guys to get take it up a notch. Some of you guys not taking it that serious. You ain't really studying. I want you guys to take it up a notch because this is the prayer that you've been waiting on, you know, and let's, let's, let's just say you had a little bit even more money in the account. Cause some of y'all got just money in a saving account looking cute. But if you pull some of it out, I'm not saying don't risk nothing that you're not willing to lose now, but I'm just saying, if you got money sitting around, you can be, you know, multiplying it. So let's just say you have $5 on the line, right? Depending on how much is in your account. Of course, you're probably going to you know, you're going to need to be, you know, you're going to have some thousands. You ain't going to be at no, you know, hundreds of dollars. Now, people over leveraged, but that's not how we want to trade. So it went down 42 pips. That's $210. I, I know somebody, you know, I know people that's doing like Uber and Amazon deliveries, making like, you know, 100, 200, 300 a day. But you still got to get out. You got to drive. That's wear and tear on your car. You got to be uh -huh. on traffic. Where you can just learn how to do this. You get what I'm saying? Isis, Isis, I have a question. Yeah, sure. I don't mean to interrupt, but what what uh what telegram did that did that uh signal come in on? Iota. That came in on Iota. Okay, thank you. So um yeah, so basically well, before you start, Isis, and then like so, and then how long was that trade for? Like, and then like how do you know, like, how long to stay in and out of a trade? I guess that's the, the thing that I'm trying to really master at this point. I mean, I don't really care how long it's going to take. I got, my, I got my stop loss in and I got my take profit. My stop loss is already in my cell phone and my take profit is in there. So I'm just waiting for it to heat, hit either or. So I'm not really, you know, pressed on when it's going to do it. You know, it's, it's going to do it if that makes sense, you know? Yeah, because yeah, once you once you got to take profit and stop loss in, the market needs to move. You know, it could be consolidating for a while. It could be some type of news that's you know um, that's making it move slower to to get to that 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 desired place, mm -hmm. that desired take profit. 
Yeah, I can't breathe. I'm so All right, we're going to have to mute the line. All right. Anybody got any other questions? I have a question. What's going on, Elizabeth? Uh, Say if you, you do the take profit one, two, and three, right? And it hits your take profit one. I was told that it will automatic close once it hit take profit or it will automatic close once it hit stop loss. But there was one time that I did it and it did hit take profit one and I didn't close it. So I ended up being in a negative and I lost it. Like, how does that work? Yeah, because the broker, it, it just, it didn't, it whatever broker you had just didn't hit that point yet. Just like I was kind of saying earlier, like, the numbers probably was a little off. Like it probably, whatever broker that person had on their broker, it probably already hit take profit. So what you can do is just kind of adjust your stop, adjust your take profit a little bit more so that um, so that it's kind of leveling up with the spread. So what do I mean by that? It's like, um, if, uh, how should I put it? Yeah, like if I know I'm trading US 30, and they're giving me one stop loss. I'm probably gonna lower my stop loss. I mean, I mean my take profit just a little two or three uh, uh, pips down, um, just so I can make sure it knocks me out. Okay, so you said just two or three pips below, and that's when you say below. Is that before his take profit or after? It's a little bit before it hits take profit. Like when you mark it up, it's a little bit before. That's why it's good to mark it up like on your uh, MetaTrader 4 app so you can see the precise entry and everything. Okay. Yeah. So okay. What I was thinking that, I mean, I'm just asking because I was a little confused. If you move it like two or three below, would it, would it still hit take profit because it's below? No, this is what I mean. So like, All right, so let's use our imagination and say that black line is the take profit. So instead of taking it at one, two, two, five, oh, snappers. Um, instead of taking it at one, two, two, five, zero, I'm just gonna go back a little bit. We'll just move this line a little bit. I might take it like, you know, just a little bit uh, before it hits it is basically what I'm just trying to say. Oh, okay. So it's above, not below. I got it. <laughs> it depends if you're taking a buy or sell. Okay. Thanks. All right, you guys. So I only got room for one more question. It's 805, 905. We're about to wrap this call up. Somebody says, so the take profit should be decided 30, 50 pips before I enter the trade, correct? You should have a trading plan before you enter a live trade. When you're trading your demo, take as many trades as possible so that you can really gain the muscle memory on how to place a trade. But when you're trading live, you should already have a plan. You should already know, hey, my plan it allows for me to go for 50 pips or 30 pips or 40 pips. So yeah, most definitely you want to know that before you uh, enter a trade. All right, family. Well, it is 8.06. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, on here with you guys today. Um, tomorrow we have, I know we got Mr. Fuel at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the live questions and answers. Tomorrow I will be doing a early trading session. Uh, definitely stand by for the time tomorrow is probably going to be at like nine, between eight and 10 Eastern. Okay, between eight and 10 Eastern. I'm gonna let y'all know tomorrow. I do got some stuff I have. Where, where, do, you, where do you drop those at? Like the trainings and things that you're gonna be hosting because I like your stuff. Uh, I'm gonna place it in our in our groups, like the same group you found this link at. All right. Yeah, amazing. And also, you can follow me on IG. 
I'm going to drop my IG name on here, you guys. Follow me on IG because I also post stuff on there when I'm about to do stuff. So follow me on IG. I'll follow you back. Um, that's all I have for tonight, you guys. Thank you for showing up for yourself because the more you show up for yourself, the more I'm excited to show up for you guys. So have an awesome, awesome night. Peace. Thank you, Isis. Thank you, Isis. Good, night. good night. Night, good night, good night. Thank you. Peace. Thank peace. you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you too. Peace. Amazing job. Amazing. Thank you, Isis. Amazing. Thanks, fam. Peace. Within like weeks. Two back in the All right. Let me hang this up. Unhealthy. All right. All right. All right, y'all. Peace. We got people still trying to get on the call. <laughs> all right. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.